This is Stu. Stu is a snowmobiler, and today he plans on enjoying the natural beauty mm. of Newfoundland and Labrador's Grossmore National Park. Great idea, Stu. Snowmobiling in the National Park is a great privilege and bears a real responsibility. There are a few things Stu needs to know before heading out in Grossmore's wilderness. Stu needs to carry a public commercial snowmobile operator's permit and a National Park entry pass with him at all times. Have you got these, Stu? As an avid snowmobiler, Stu always adheres to the conditions of his Parks Canada permit, but also to the snowmobiler's Keeping Nature Beautiful code. Why don't you tell us about the code, Stu? Uh -oh. The code says stay in the corridors. For the health of Grossmorn's wildlife, vegetation, and terrain for now and in the future, it is essential that riders stay in the designated corridors. Engaging in unsafe driving like high marking and hammerheading, especially in the valleys, can trigger avalanches and disturb sensitive areas like Arctic hare habitat. And what does the snowmobiler's Keeping Nature Beautiful code say about that? Respect sensitive areas and protect wildlife. If you happen upon wildlife, be sure to give them ample space. Use binoculars to get an up-close view. And what does the snowmobiler's code say you should do before you start your ride? That's right, maintain your sled and keep it quiet. Don't use machines in the park that are souped up with aftermarket parts. Whoa, fellas, what does the snowmobiler's code say about littering? Leave tracks, not trash. Snowmobilers ride the park corridors for their natural beauty. So make sure you leave nature as you found it. Got all that, Stu? You see, by respecting your snowmobilers keeping nature beautiful code, you'll also adhere to the conditions of your Parks Canada permit for public commercial snowmobile operators. And remember, when you're riding your snowmobile, you're an ambassador for all the other snowmobilers to come after you. And don't forget to buckle up that chin strap. So ride safely and ride responsibly. Thanks, Stu.